Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make rope really quickly and easily. Um, I'm not going to show you how to make the knot, that's, that's for another time. But anyway, so I'm just going to start with a circle and I want to move it up. Uh, just make it, it makes it easier to measure. I'm going to move it up on the y axis by one. Turn on my screencast keys. Yeah, so I just press G, Y, and 1, and I'm going to press G, X, and 1. Okay, so now I'm going to, uh, you could symmetrize it, but I think this works a little bit better because you get everything perfectly lined up. I'm going to duplicate that and press uh, G, Y, minus 2. Oh, sorry. What did I do? G, Y. Hmm? Sorry, that not happen there. Try that again. Shift D, G, Y. Minus two. What's going on here? All right. I won't do it all at the same time. Minus two. Okay. Select one of those. Shift D. Escape. G X minus two. Okay. Cool. And now just to make sure these are joined. Measure by distance. Oh, forty-eight. I must have had some tubes. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's good. We need that shape. That's what the cross section of this particular type of rope looks like. Um, there are different threads of rope, but I'm going for this. And then all we're going to do is go to the screw modifier and bring that right up. Oh, no, we're not. We're going to apply our transforms first to get that origin in the middle in the uh, 3D cursor. What am I doing? Screw. And we got that. Bam, there you go. And you've got rope. And, you know, you find that's not long enough. There you go, or oh, it's too loose, not tightly wound. And that's it, super easy. It's also got a very nice, you know, flush um, end, which I think most rope would have. I don't know, I think it would maybe be sealed at the end somehow. But yeah, there you go. If you found that useful, please drop a like. Thanks very much.